Hey, this is Dave at EV Doctor. Today we're going to talk about installing a 620R 240-volt plug for your new EV charger. Now, you might think it's complicated, but if you, have a, if you can change a plug in your house or you have a friend that can change a plug, you can do this. I'm going to take a quick run through the parts and then I'm going to show you the finished results and then I'm going to show you some step-by-step. -step. So the real key items are your 620 plug and of course the cover plate and a old work box. You're probably going to cut this in. Note these tabs right here. You need a piece of number 10 or even 12 uh, wire. Of course, we've got three wires here. White, black, copper. You should put a little red tag on the white wire because it's really supposed to be a red wire. A little bit of red tape. Uh, a 20 amp two, two position circuit breaker. They're joined together so they're really tied, tied together. Of course, screwdrivers, cutters, uh, strippers, Wallboard saw. You might need a hacksaw, most likely not. But, and a voltmeter is kind of handy. Okay, so here we are. This is the panel in the garage. And I'm going to show you the completed installation. Just looking down here. And so we have the 240 volt plug. And we've got the charger. This is the 16 amp charger. And this is the EV Doctor wall hanger. This is a repurposed item, so you're part of being sustainable uh, with this item. The first thing you're want, going to want to do is to open the breaker box and make sure that you have two slots available. So I was lucky here. We had two slots here, and we did mark this as a 240 volt garage connection. Next, we're going to take off the four screws that hold on the panel. Okay, so now we have the panel off. Um, before you go into this next step, it's a good idea to go outside your home, go over to your electric meter, turn off the main breaker. Because this is where your power comes in right here. 110, 20 volts, 120 volts. That's 220 altogether. And of course, there's lots of grounding bars, bus bars and grounding here and grounding over here. So you'll see this is where the Romex comes up from the plug. This is our cable clamp here. Got two wires, one going to each pole on the on the breaker. Just make sure the breaker is off. If, even though this is off, turn the breaker off to make sure. And then back in here you'll see the ground wire. And that just screws in with a screwdriver. But it's nice to keep these somewhat organized. And again, notice that this is a red wire. Um, you're going to mark, mark the four corners of your box. You can trace your box there. Uh, you can pre-assemble your box with the wires in the back, wired up to the standard plug. Feed the wires up through the wall. And don't forget to put the nut on the wires. Once you get the cable clamp through the hole, you're going to screw the nut on the cable clamp and drive it tight on the edge with a screwdriver and a hammer. Now, in case your box is not so conveniently located next to your breaker box, you can take a piece of either flexible conduit or rigid conduit. You only have to drill a hole in the wall, and you would feed the conduit up and get it up into the, um, to the knockout in the breaker box. And then you can run that cable to wherever you need to go. Um, with your 620 plug. After you get the wire and the nut 
on the cable clamp. Just tighten up the cable clamp slightly. And then you're going to come through and you're going to attach the red and the black wire to the circuit breaker. Doesn't matter any polarity here. And the ground wire to the ground bus bar. Once you're finished with that, you're going to attach the cover plate onto your box, and you're done. Next, we're ready for a test. It's a little easier to attach the wires to the circuit breaker first, before you assemble it, so you don't have to look in here. Um, it clips in the front, and then it rocks back, and you just push it into place, like that, and you're done. Uh, we can go ahead and turn on the power. And now we should have 220 volts here. Next, I'll show you how to test it with a voltmeter. So here we are at the last step. You're going to get your digital voltmeter. You can buy these for under $20. Uh, power on, AC volt, ACV, 750. Take your probes, plug it in. There we go, 240 volts. And you can just double check between each pole and ground, 120 on that side, and 120, 119 on that side. So that's all perfect. And let's go ahead and plug in our charger. And there we go, off and running. So thanks for joining us on this do-it-yourself project. Um, you know, you might want to consider hiring an electrician to do this, um, but if you're pretty handy um, and you can fix a plug in your house, you can probably do this and save a couple hundred dollars. Of course, that's totally up to you. So I don't make any warranties on this, but this is how you could do it yourself if you so choose. Uh, thanks for joining EV Doctor. Uh, we'll have a series of videos coming out on 240 volt plugs for 32 amps and a variety of other helpful tips for your new electric vehicle. Thanks for joining us.